Hey everyone, in this video we're going to go over the line art modifier and how to use it to make an outline for an anime character. So here is my character I made. There is no outline right now. So to start off, we are going to add in a line art object. So shift A, grease pencil, and object line art. And then we have to go to the modifiers tab to see all the options. First off, we're going to select our source. Right now it's set to body already. But if you need to change it, you can always just use the eye dropper and select the body. And right now we don't see anything. That's because the line art only appears wherever the camera is. And we have no camera in the scene right now. So let's add a camera. And let's move it to where the body is. So right now we can see that only the lines are appearing where the camera is. So to make the camera view a little bit more easier, let's go to view and check off the camera to view section so we can go to camera mode and just move the viewport. Uh, the camera mode all right so now that we have that let's go back to the line art properties and change the thickness to one that way we have here lines and we can also change the opacity if you need to from here we usually don't need to uh, so we're just gonna leave it at one all right, so and then other useful things that we can tweak is the edge types. You can change the way that the lines appear from contour silhouette. Usually you would use contour silhouette would mean that it will only be on the outline. Anything overlapping from the, from the view is not going to have an outline, but usually contour works best. Increase threshold. Usually the default is good. If you want less lines, you can lower it or increase it. Intersections. This would be useful if you want lines that are intersecting. So to show you, I can turn my rig on, make an intersection here. All right. So right now there's. Go to camera view. Now well, th these are. This is when two messages intersect, and you see a line here. Now, if you go back here and uncheck this, there won't be a line, so it won't show the intersecting line. So this is based on whether the messages are intersecting or not. This is useful if you need it. I'm gonna leave it on for now. Turn off the rig. And material borders. This is useful if you have material setting, separating materials. So I don't have any. So just to quickly show how this works, I'll add in a new one. In edit mode. So if I add a new material, Let's change the color to green. And I'm going to go to face select. Take this and assign this material to it. So right now it has no outline between these two materials. But if you turn on the material orders, you have an outline on the material wherever the materials are touching each other. And this goes all around here. So this depends on where your character is. I'm going to turn this one off because I don't have material borders. And then edge marks, this is useful for drawing lines directly to make 
line online. So this is especially useful for the nose because from the front view, there is no outline for the nose. You can only see it from the side view. In order to draw it manually, you can edit the mesh or the edge mode, select the edge, right click, and then mark freestyle edge, and then it'll become green. And when you get out of edit mode, wherever you marked it will have an outline. Now, there will always be an outline here, no matter what. Like this. Let's go back here. So this will turn on and off if you click it. And this, the rest of the ones you don't really need to use. All right, there's some other things that you want to do here that could be useful for an anime character is if you go to data properties, you can see the strokes here in the strokes tab. The stroke thickness is set to world space or you can set to screen space. World space would mean that Lines will get thinner as the camera is farther away from the characters. So if you zoom out, the lines will get thinner. Screen space. The lines will always be the same no matter how far the camera is. So you can see how old it is right now, even though it's this far away. I change it here. And in world space, you can also change the thickness even less if you need to. I think though, this is, I think we should change it to probably 0 0.3. 0 0.3 is good. All right, so another useful thing is, is if, what if you want to hide lines? So right now, in anime, we don't want these lines around the eyes. So we want to hide these lines and get rid of them. And to do that, we need to have, we can use the SD modifier. So in line art, the modifiers tab, we can add in another modifier for opacity. And we can change the opacity. So we can use this to hide our lines and we can have an influence based on the vertex group. So let's create a vertex group on our body mesh. So let's go to vertices mode. And for my character, it's this edge and this edge is what I want. to hide the lines on. Let's go here and click new and assign the ones that select, just selected. You can confirm by just selecting it to make sure that the ones you selected are actually here. And let's name this body that outline hide. And then we have to, for whatever reason, we had to put this at the top. All right now I put it at the top on this. Let's go back to our line art modifier. Go back to the modifier to be just added. All right. 
And then when you click bridge script, it doesn't show here. That's because we have to add it in the line art data properties in the vertex group. So we have to add vertex group with the same name. So body that find that hide. And then if we go back here, we should be able to see it. And then we just add that. Then we can change the opacity. And then if we just turn, you can see that it's going away. If you turn it all the way to zero, we can pretty get in the line, the outline. Okay, so next we're going to add in the, the line for the rest of the clothes and the hair. So I'm going to add in a collection this time. And we're going to change this collection to my clothes collection. And then turn down the thickness. Check. See. Okay. Right now the hair is also getting lines for whatever reason. No, so that's probably because the intersections are turned on. So I'm going to turn this off. I don't want the nose question and the hair question to be have the same lines. So let's just look to see if all the parts have line art which they do and then i'm just gonna go to the road space and change the thickness to match the body and then we're gonna do the same thing for the hair add in a line art collection and we're going to have the hair. Turn on the thickness. And turn off the intersections. And then also, everything the same. I'll make a point three. Check the hair. Looks good. And then the last thing is the the eyebrows. But for that, we're going to add in a separate only object set to eyebrows, and then we're going to the same presence here. Okay, so for my character, I want the hair to have a different color instead of black. Let's name these. This is body. We know what we're looking at. Clothes. Hair. And eyebrows. All right, so I'm going to make a new material for the hair. Let's go to the hair, make a new material. And I'm going to change it to light purple. So if I go back to the modifiers and go to the material tab, I can change this. Same thing for the eyebrows. I want it to have the same material. Here. All right. Maybe it's too purple. So maybe this dark in a little bit. Yeah, there we go. My brows too, let's darken it. Yeah, there we go. All right, one last thing I want to show you guys is usually in anime, the eyebrows are either see through or over the hair, and we can kind of simulate that using the line art. So if you click the eyebrows 
and go to I mean uh eyebrows mine art, not the eyebrows itself, and go to occlusion. You can check this range and set the end value up to one. And you'll see that the line art is appearing above the hair. Check the side too. And this is an option if you want. And this is pretty much it. You're probably going to need to tweak if you want some more custom lines, like probably here, you need to add in some manual edge lines on, on your mesh. But this is to be seen the gist of the idea. All right. That's it. I hope this was helpful for you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.